Welcome to Drama Recaps. Today, we'll delve into a historical drama from 2002, titled, Gangs of New York. Be warned, spoilers lie ahead. The movie opens in the slums of New York in 1846. A concerned Irish immigrant father, Catholic priest Valen, questions his son about his ability to survive if he were to die. The influx of Irish immigrants has led to tension with the native population, resulting in periodic clashes. Two rival gangs, the Protestant Confederation of American Natives led by William, Bill the Butcher, Cutting, and the Irish Catholic immigrant Dead Rabbits led by, Priest, Valen, decide to engage in a decisive battle for territorial control. The intense fight culminates in Valen's death at the hands of Bill. Valen's son swears to avenge his father's death, hides the murder weapon, and is taken to an orphanage on Blackwell's Island. Bill outlaws the dead rabbits. Sixteen years later, in 1862, Valen's son, now named Amsterdam, returns to the Five Points neighborhood. Reclaiming his father's knife, he seeks vengeance. Only his childhood friend Johnny recognizes him. Johnny informs Amsterdam that many former dead rabbits now work for Bill, who still dominates the territory. Johnny introduces Amsterdam to Bill's gang, and Bill allows Amsterdam to join. Amsterdam initially plans to kill Bill in public, wanting everyone to witness the revenge of Valen's son. Amsterdam learns that Bill celebrates his victory over the dead rabbits annually, and he decides to execute his revenge on that day. Amsterdam encounters a mysterious girl who teases him before leaving. Later, on a bus, he sees her again and notices her being friendly with another man. She slyly diverts the man's attention and robs him. Amsterdam, witnessing this, realizes his own locket is missing. Understanding the girl is a skilled pickpocket, he suspects she has his locket. Following her off the bus, he confronts her, demanding his locket back. She threatens him with a knife, but he remains unyielding. She feigns ignorance about the locket, but Amsterdam persists, asking if she's truly ready to kill him. Intimidated, she opens her shirt to reveal several stolen lockets. Amsterdam reclaims his own and offers to accompany her for a while. She agrees, and introduces herself as Jenny. They soon become friends. One day, Johnny catches sight of Jenny and is instantly smitten. During a festival, Jenny is asked to choose a dance partner. Johnny is certain she'll pick him but is disappointed when she chooses Amsterdam instead. The two grow closer. Meanwhile, Amsterdam is also gaining Bill's trust. He becomes his right-hand man, even participating in the corrupt dealings of politician William Tweed. When Bill is attacked at an event, Amsterdam leaps to his defense, further solidifying Bill's trust. Yet, Amsterdam grapples with his conflicting feelings of loyalty and revenge. The day of the annual festival arrives, the day commemorating Bill's victory over Valen. Amidst the celebrations, a jealous Johnny reveals Amsterdam's true identity and intentions to Bill, hoping that Bill will kill him and Jenny will be his. As Bill revels in the festivities, engaging in a knife-throwing tradition, Amsterdam awaits his chance to strike. Bill asks Amsterdam to throw a knife at a statue of Valen. He does, but Bill intercepts the knife and turns it on Amsterdam, revealing his true identity to the crowd. Bill mercilessly beats Amsterdam, inflicting him with multiple knife wounds. When Amsterdam lies helplessly on the floor, Bill sadistically asks the crowd which part of Amsterdam's body they would like as a souvenir. Amid the mocking responses, only Jenny pleads for Bill to spare Amsterdam. Ignoring her pleas, Bill sears Amsterdam's face with a hot rod. Amsterdam is discarded into a dark pit, but Jenny sneaks in, along with a doctor, and together they nurse Amsterdam back to health. Despite Jenny's protests, Amsterdam is resolute about returning to seek his revenge. He meticulously plans his approach and returns to the Five Points. His first act of defiance is killing a loyal servant of Bill, a dead rabbit, and displaying the body in Paradise Square as a declaration of his return. Stunned by Amsterdam's survival, Bill sends corrupt Irish policeman Mulroney to investigate. However, Amsterdam outsmarts Mulroney, kills him, and displays his body as well. Upon learning this, Bill punishes Johnny by impaling him and leaving it to Amsterdam to end his friend's suffering. 
A non-violent standoff occurs between Bill's gang and Amsterdam's dead rabbits at the church, resulting in Bill vowing to return. This incident gains media attention, giving Amsterdam the opportunity to meet with William Tweed. Amsterdam proposes a plan to diminish Bill's influence by supporting Monk McGinn for sheriff and promising Irish votes for Tammany. As the son of a priest, Amsterdam earns the trust of the people, and Monk wins the sheriff election in a landslide. Bill's influence rapidly diminishes, leading to his enraged murder of Monk McGinn. In response, Amsterdam challenges Bill to a gang war in Paradise Square, which Bill accepts. This proposed battle eerily echoes the fight between Valen and Bill 16 years prior, and both sides start preparing for the conflict. The situation escalates dangerously when the Civil War draft riots break out just as the gangs are readying for battle, leading to the deployment of Union Army soldiers. The government intervenes to halt the impending gang war. Soldiers are dispatched into the chaos, indiscriminately attacking the two rival gangs and the rioters. The scene is horrific, with many gang members falling to the naval gunfire, the soldiers, or the rioters themselves. Amid the pandemonium, Amsterdam seeks out Bill. When he finally finds him, they confront each other until Bill is incapacitated by a piece of shrapnel. Seizing the opportunity, Amsterdam uses his father's knife to deliver the fatal blow to Bill. Thus, the people are liberated from the long-reigning tyranny of Bill. Amsterdam chooses to lay Bill to rest in a Brooklyn cemetery, next to his father's grave. As he and Jenny leave the cemetery, the landscape begins to change dramatically. Over the next century, modern New York City rises, from the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge to the towering World Trade Center amidst this urban transformation, the cemetery becomes overgrown and forgotten, silently holding the memories of a bygone era.